Joe Cook here for the Spot VA, the TCC men's team hosting the Cannons of Lord Fairfax Community College in this one. The two coaches chatting it up before the game, Chris Graham on the left. His Cannons are struggling. They're looking for their first win since beating Christendom College on December 2nd. As for Ed McGinnis and his Storm, they took a tough loss to Davidson County Community College, losing by only four points. But the coach talked to his team before the game about making adjustments. Hey, anybody out there on the floor, you want to make a change of what we're doing, and you know what the defense is, make the change. That's what I like. I like to see a team that know what they're doing out there. But I don't have to call every play. So let's go out here and we do it. Like the coach said, we go hard 40 minutes and make a habit of it. Because this is what it's going to take to go all the way. And that's what we plan to do. I think we can do it. I believe we can do it. I want you all to believe it and know that you can do it. All right? Hey, get yourself together, guys. Let's get going. Hey, storm on three, storm on three. One, two, three, storm! Even with the loss, a bright spot for the storm was Byron Carpenter's game. He had 27 points, 19 boards, four steals, and three blocks. That's the stat line the sophomore board wants to duplicate in this game against the Cannons. And here we go to start the game. Terrence Palmer hits Jared Whittington with the slam. That's how you start the game. And off the air ball miss, Byron Carpenter scoops up the loose ball and lays it in for the storm. After another miss, Carpenter kicks it out to Jared Whittington, who hits the three and storm up big at this point, two to 15, but Pat Dillon collects the defensive rebound, and here comes Storm in the break. Byron Carpenter with the slam, and storm up two to 17 at this point. But here come the Fairfax Cannings, and they kick it out to number four, who hits the three. That capped a 7 0 run to score 19 to 9 now. And the cannon battling all the way back, number four with the fakes, and he hits Justin Banks with a beautiful no-look pass to make it a two-point game. It's 19 to 21 now, in favor of the storm. Cannon's coming back, but Pat Dillon responds with that monster block over Lim Roberts, and Pat Dillon will grab the boards and clear out for the break. And here come the storm, number 50, D. Ray Robinson, with the tough layup and the storm of four. 23 to 19 and the cannons come back with another shot by Lim Roberts with the response and Matt McGurick will find number 22 the short jumper and it's a four point game again the cannons hanging around the storm working against the zone Terrence Palmer can't hit it inside but Pat Dillon is there for the cleanup and the storm up 6 24 30 Storm working around the zone here, and they go back to Albert Creighton, who will hit the three from downtown. And the Storm had five players in double figures as they will go on to win this one, all led by number 12, Pat Dillon, who had 18 points to lead the Storm. This win pulls the Storm to five and six on the year. For the Spot VA, I'm Joe Cook.